But tonight we're going where the real action is. I'm talking about the insurance providers and health maintenance organizations a group where we've seen almost frantic M&A activity of late with rumors of more potential deals to come. First, Humana put itself up for sale, and now over this past weekend, it appears that Aetna's getting hot and heavy with Humana, but we also know that Dow Component United Health Group has been talking to Aetna about a tie-up. And, of course, there's Anthem's continued attempt to buy Cigna. Just yesterday, Cigna rejected the latest proposal, ruining everyone's Father's Day, it seems, because Anthem wants their current CEO to run the whole show post-merger. I found myself thinking, thank heavens, I'm not an investment banker. I can sit around with my kids. It's hard to keep the players straight here, but at the end of the day, it feels like everybody's trying to buy everybody else in this HMO space. At this point, we don't know which deals will happen, which ones won't. But I feel safe in saying that any consolidation here will be good for the entire group, because with each acquisition that happens, that's one more competitor taken out of the picture. So tonight, I want to talk to you about the colossus in the industry, United Health Group, UNH for you home gamers. Now, UNH has two main businesses. There's United Healthcare, which is the largest healthcare provider in the U.S., and then there's the secret sauce, Optum, which is part pharmacy benefit manager, part provider software, advisory consulting, and business process outsourcing to various participants in the healthcare industry. Now, the stock of UNH has been on a Fabulous long-term performance streak, up nearly 19% year-to-date, not to mention up almost 50% over the last 12 months, 86% over the past two years, and a monster 292% gain over the last five years. <laughs> Secular growth. Some of that is because as much as people call the Affordable Care Act Obamacare, the truth is that the bill was actually written by the insurance companies and the HMOs. Think about it. It's now the law of the land that you need to buy health insurance or else you'll take a big hit at tax time. UNH currently provides coverage to 50.9 million people across all 50 states. And this year, the company expects to add 1.4 million new policyholders. 400 to 500,000 of these new members coming from the Obamacare exchanges, where the company has used careful analytics to create a line of products that will both attract consumers and make them money. In addition, UNH has major exposure to Medicare, Medicaid, and military health care plans, all areas where the company has been steadily growing its enrollment and its revenues. But the really exciting part of the UNH story is the faster-growing Optum, that's O-P-T-U-M side of the business, where they have a pharmacy benefit manager that provides services for more than 32 million million people nationwide. These are gigantic numbers. Remember, we like PBMs because they create formularies that help insurance providers control costs for prescription drugs. Big, you know, that's a big part of the inflation in this industry. By identifying the most cost-effective treatments and then buying them in bulk. UNH believes that Optum has a $500 billion addressable market across all of its businesses. Not many companies I deal with have that kind of size addressable market, half a trillion. Management expects Optum sales to grow by 9 to 12% this year with earnings growth in the mid-teens. Let's not forget, back at the end of March, UNH announced that its Optum subsidiary would be acquiring Catamaran, the nation's fourth largest pharmacy benefit manager for $12.8 billion, and the transaction is expected to close in the fourth quarter. After this deal closes, UNH will have the third largest PBM in the U.S., right behind Express Scripts and CVS Caremark, another of our favorites. Put this in perspective, Express Scripts fills 1.3 billion prescriptions annually, and after this deal, UNH's PBM business will be filling roughly 1 billion prescriptions every year. That's huge. Plus, the integration of Catamaran should be pretty easy because they already use the same technology as Optum. UNH's management believes that this deal could boost its earnings per share by 30 cents, and the combined Optum Catamaran entity could account for as much as 40% of the company's total earnings over the next few years. And while Catamaran does business with Cigna, Remember, that's in the news this weekend. Their contract is pretty much ironclad through 2023. So it's unlikely an acquisition by Anthem will cause them to lose that business anytime soon. In other words, can't be cut off. On top of that, UNH has been aggressively rolling out new innovative services to help differentiate them from the competition. Most recently, the company signed up Doctor On Demand, which we recently featured. Remember that? It was so cool. Provide virtual doctor's appointments, allowing UNH to significantly cut down on the cost of in-person visits. Now, when United Health Group last reported mid-April, the company knocked it out of the park, delivering substantially better than expected earnings that increased by 32% year-over-year thanks to the strength of the core commercial health care benefits business. In fact, in the first quarter alone, UNH organically added 1 million more people to the roles in the U.S., 
Plus, management gave robust, higher than expected sales and earnings guidance for the full year. In short, even though UNH's stock has been on a roll lately, that's because the company has been at the top of its game. And while we don't know whether UNH will end up being able to acquire a competitor in the M&A free-for-all that's exploded in the healthcare space, we do know that any takeovers will mean fewer total competitors and less competition is always a good thing for business. Maybe not you. Maybe not your company. For UNH, yes. Right now, UNH trades at roughly 17 times next year's earnings estimates, which means it's trading at a slight premium debt in our anthem. However, in my opinion, United Health Group's the best of breed player here, which means it deserves to trade at a premium. Plus, when you think about it, 17 times earnings is pretty darn inexpensive when you consider the kind of consistent growth this company's capable of. I mean, it trades on like, like a regular stock. It's better than that. Here's the bottom line. At a moment when UNH is trying to acquire Aetna and Aetna wants to buy you man and Anthem's trying to snap up Cigna, just remember the United Health Group is the undisputed titan in this space. And at the end of the day, they're one of the few large insurers that actually has the scale, the balance sheet, and the diversity of business to, be, to easily make any acquisition it might want to. Compared to UNH, most of the other players in the group are basically sitting ducks. And while nobody's going to acquire UNH, it's too big. This company is a best-of-breed operator that's been very aggressive about making all the right moves necessary to keep growing its business, including that recent very smart catamaran deal. In short, even with UNH trading at just three bucks off its highs, I think it's a bye, 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 much more mad money ahead, including my take on the crazy action in Amarella, the player inside some of the hottest cameras on the market. 